Scroll into view is a built-in JavaScript function which is quite useful and it acts much like a bookmark. The W3Schools website shows a demonstration of this function in action here. And basically we have a div that has some content inside. And you click it and you're scrolled to a piece of content instantly. Nothing particularly fancy and it acts much like a bookmark. Scroll into view is another function that provides navigation for the website visitor very similar to a bookmark and the way it works just like a bookmark is you click it and you'll notice by the scroll bar over here you are scrolled down to the piece of content you clicked on to get back where you were you either scroll back or you hit the back button on your browser while scroll into view has its values it also has its issues i for one sometimes go to a website maybe a website that i'm not too familiar with and maybe the web page is really big and has a ton of content and when you're clicking bookmarks and you are scrolled to different parts of the web page you can get a feeling of like being lost well here's an alternative to scroll into view which is 100 percent compatible with all web browsers is 100 percent javascript code no jQuery so you don't have to include dependencies on large files and it's actually quite simple a lot simpler than you might think and I'm going to give you a demonstration of this alternative to JavaScript scroll into view here and the way it works is instead of tossing the visitor around on your website to different parts what it does is it makes the content come to the visitor it makes the content come to you now this may seem like vanity code, but face it, people are getting lazier and lazier, and the easier you make it for your website visitor, the better. This page contains all the code that you need to implement this, and it's actually not very complicated at all. You need your triggering mechanism, which is your links or bookmarks or buttons that the user clicks to navigate content. Here is the small bit of HTML code and this is where you place your content in between the divs that say div content one, div content two, div content three, and then the JavaScript code, which is the gasoline for the engine that makes this whole thing work. And as you'll see, it's really not much code at all. You're gonna be surprised at how simple it is to implement this. As a matter of fact, there's a demo a zip file that you can click and download so you can view it for yourself and study it for yourself.